be true when you know it is. Well, you know, one of the things that seems to be a predominant con contributor to people's challenge accepting some of these really awesome, uh, what I believe are absolute powerful biblical revealing of biblical my mysteries. One of it's you know when I look at it from a sociological analysis standpoint. I say to myself always, you know, who benefits? I look at it from the standpoint of somebody sitting in a jury in a capital crimes case, you know, and I, and, and I analyze the, 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 the elements of, of the information that's being presented, and I say to myself, what would be the motivation of, of that individual or that entity or that being? What would be their ultimate motivation for saying that thing? You know, I measure the potential for it being a lie or the truth based on what that being's, what that entity's motivation might be. In other words, quid bono, who benefits, right? So so here's, here, for, here's an example. There's a book entitled The Only Planet of Choice by Phyllis Schlemmer, and she's a channeler, and she actually back in the 60s had met with Gene Roddenberry, and many others that were well known, and uh, did she was communicating with these beings, okay? And these beings were uh, gave her a, tr a, a f unbelievable amount of information. They referred to themselves as they had, you know, normal little American-sounding names, you know, names that they gave themselves. But they, they, when they were asked who they were. They said, we are the Elohim from the ancient Hebrew texts. I remember when I first read that. And I, my mouth dropped to the ground. Now, the average theologian, if they were exposed to that data, would simply dismiss it. They'd wave their hands and go, oh, it's a demonic lie. It's the devil. It's the devil. You don't listen to that stuff. I didn't do that. I said to myself, what, what, to what avail? These beings are talking to Phyllis Schlemmer, who's obviously, you know, a, a friend, not an adversary. She she was seeking information from them. Okay, they, they said that they were from the ancient Hebrew text. They didn't say the Hindu text. They didn't say any other ancient text. They said specifically the ancient Hebrew text, the Elohim from the ancient Hebrew text. And they said they were from the Council of Nine which happens to be Lucifer's number. Lucifer has an ephod with nine stones, spoken of in Ezekiel tw uh, 28. Okay.